Shalom, family, and thank you so much for joining us for this week's scripture reading. And this week we'll be reading from Genesis chapter 44, verse 18, through chapter 47, verse 27, Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 15 through 28, and Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. Then Yahudah came near unto him, and said, O my Adon, let thy servant, I pray thee, speak a word in my Adon's ears, and let not thine anger burn against thy servant, for thou art even as Pharaoh. My Adon asked his servant, saying, Have you a father or a brother? And we said unto my Adon, We have a father, an old man, and a child of his old age, a little one, and his brother is dead, and he alone is left of his mother, and his father loveth him. And thou saidest unto thy servants, Bring him down unto me, that I may set mine eyes upon him. And we said unto my Adam, The lad cannot leave his father, for if he should leave his father, his father would die. And thou saidest unto thy servants, Except your youngest brother come down with you, you shall see my face no more. And it came to pass, when we came up unto thy servant my father, we told him the words of my Adon. And our father said, Go again and buy us a little food. And we said, We cannot go down. If our youngest brother be with us, then will we go down. For we may not see the man's face, except our youngest brother be with us. And thy servant my father said unto us, Ye know that my wife bare me two sons, and the one went out from me, and I said, Surely he is torn in pieces, and I saw him not since. And if you take this also from me, and mischief befall him, ye shall bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to the grave. Now therefore, when I come to thy servant, my father, and the lad be not with us, seeing that his life is bound up in the lad's life, it shall come to pass, when he seeth, that the lad is not with us, that he will die. And thy servant shall bring down the gray hairs of thy servant our father with sorrow to the grave. For thy servant became surety for the lad unto my father, saying, If I bring him not unto thee, then I shall bear the blame to my father forever. Now therefore I pray thee, let thy servant abide instead of the lad a bondman to my Adon. And let the lad go up with his brethren. For how shall I go up to my father, and the lad be not with me? Lest peradventure I see the evil that shall come on my father. Then Yosef could not refrain himself before all them that stood before him. And he cried, Cause every man to go out from me. And there stood no man with him, while Yosef made himself known unto his brethren. And he wept aloud, and the Egyptians and the house of Pharaoh heard. And Yosef said unto his brethren, I am Yosef, doth my father yet live? And his brethren could not answer him, for they were troubled at his presence. And Yosef said unto his brethren, Come near to me, I pray you. And they came near, and he said, I am Yosef, your brother, whom ye sold into Egypt. Now therefore be not grieved, nor angry with yourselves, that ye sold me hither. For Elohim did send me before you to preserve life. For these two years hath the famine been in the land, and yet there are five years, in the which there shall neither be earring nor harvest. And Elohim sent me before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So now it was not you that sent me hither, but Elohim. And he hath made me a father to Pharaoh, and lord of all his house, and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. Haste ye, and go up to my father, and say unto him, Thus saith thy son Yosef, Elohim hath made me a don of all Egypt. Come down unto me, tarry not. And thou shalt dwell in the land of Goshen, and thou shalt be near unto me, thou and thy children 
and thy children's children, and thy flocks and thy herds, and all that thou hast. And there will I nourish thee, for yet there are five years of famine, lest thou and thy household, and all that thou hast, come to poverty. And behold, your eyes see, and the eyes of my brother Benjamin, that is, my mouth that speaketh unto you. And ye shall tell my father of all my glory in Egypt, and of all that you have seen. And ye shall haste, and bring down my father hither. And he fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck, and wept. And Benjamin wept upon his neck. Moreover, he kissed all his brethren, and wept upon them. And after that, his brethren talked with him, and the fame thereof was heard in Pharaoh's house, saying, Joseph's brethren are come, and it pleased Pharaoh well, and his servants. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, Say unto thy brethren, This do ye, lave your beasts, and go, get you unto the land of Canaan, and take your father, and your households, and come unto me, and I will give you the good of the land of Egypt, and ye shall eat the fat of the land. Now thou art commanded, this do ye, take you wagons out of the land of Egypt for your little ones, and for your wives, and bring your father, and come. Also regard not your stuff, for the good of all the land of Egypt is yours. And the children of Yasserel did so, and Yosef gave them wagons according to the commandment of Pharaoh and gave them provision for the way. To all of them he gave each man changes of raiment, but to Benjamin he gave three hundred pieces of silver and five changes of raiment. And to his father he sent after this manner ten asses laden with the good things of Egypt, and ten she-asses laden with corn and bread and meat for his father by the way. So he sent his brethren away, and they departed. And he said unto them, See that you fall not out by the way. And they went up out of Egypt, and came into the land of Canaan, unto Jacob their father, and told them, saying, Yosef is yet alive, and he is governor over all the land of Egypt. And Jacob's heart fainted, for he believed them not. And they told him all the words of Joseph, which he had said unto them. And when he saw the wagons which Joseph had sent to carry him, the spirit of Jacob their father was revived. And Yasharel said, It is enough. Joseph, my son, is yet alive. I will go and see him before I die. And Yasharel took his journey with all that he had and came to Beersheba and offered sacrifices unto the Elohim of his father Isaac. And Elohim spake unto Yasharel in the vision of the night, and said, Yaakov, Yaakov. And he said, Here am I. And he said, I am Elohim, the Elohim of thy father. Fear not to go down into Egypt, for I will there make of thee a great nation. I will go down with thee into Egypt, and I will also surely bring thee up again, and Yosef shall put his hand upon thine eyes. And Jacob rose up from Beersheba, and the sons of Yasharel carried Jacob their father, and their little ones, and their wives, in the wagons which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. And they took their cattle and their goods, which they had gotten in the land of Canaan, and came into Egypt, Jacob, and all his seed with him his sons and his sons' sons with him, his daughters and his sons' his daughters, and all his seed brought he with him into Egypt. And these are the names of the children of Yasharel which came into Egypt, Jacob and his sons Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and the sons of Reuben Hanuk and Falu and Hezron and Garmi, and the sons of Simeon, Jemuel and Jamin, and Ohad and Yachin, and Zohar, and Shaul, the son of a Canaanitish woman, and the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari, and the sons of Yehudah, Ur, and Onan, and Shelah, and Phares, and Zarah, but Er and Onan died in the land of Canaan, and the sons of Phares were Hezron and Hamul. 
and the sons of Issachar, Tola, and Pufa, and Jol, and Shimron, and the sons of Zebulon, Sarek, and Elon, Jahad Leel. These be the sons of Leah, which he bare unto Yaakov in Pandan Aram, with his daughter Dina. All the souls of his sons and his daughters were thirty and three. And the sons of God, Ziphion, and Hagi, Shuni, and Esbon, Eri, and Arodi, and Areli. And the sons of Asher, Jimna, and Ishua, and Ishui, and Beriah, and Serah, their sister, and the sons of Berai, Heber, and Malkiel. These are the sons of Zilpah, whom Laban gave to Leah his daughter. And these she bare unto Yaakov, even sixteen souls, the sons of Rachel, Yaakov's wife, Yosef, and Benjamin. And unto Yosef in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, which Asenath, the daughter of Pontifera, priest of On, bare unto him. And the sons of Benjamin were Bela and Becher, and Ashbel, Gera, and Naaman, Ahi, and Rosh, Mupim, and Hupim, and Ard. These are the sons of Rachel, which are born to Jacob. All the sons were fourteen. And the sons of Dan, Hushim, and the sons of Naphtali, Jazel, and Guni, and Jezel, and Shilem. These are the sons of Bilhah, which Laban gave unto Rachel his daughter, and she bare these unto Yaakov. All the souls were seven. All the souls that came with Yaakov into Egypt, which came out of his loins beside Yaakov's sons' wives, all the souls were threescore and six. And the sons of Yosef, which were born him in Egypt, were two souls. All the souls of the house of Yaakov, which came into Egypt, were threescore and ten. And he sent Yehudah before him unto Yosef, to direct his face unto Goshen. And they came into the land of Goshen. And Yosef made ready his chariot, and went up to meet Yasharel his father, to Goshen, and presented himself unto him. And he fell on his neck, and wept on his neck a good while. And Yasharel said unto Yosef, Now let me die, since I have seen thy face, because thou art yet alive. And Yosef said unto his brethren, and unto his father's house, I will go up, and show Pharaoh, and say unto him, my brethren and my father's house, which were in the land of Canaan, are come unto me. And the men are shepherds, for their trade hath been to feed cattle. And they have brought their flocks and their herds and all that they have. And it shall come to pass when Pharaoh shall call you and shall say, What is your occupation? That you shall say, Thy servant's trade has been about cattle from our youth even until now, both we and also our fathers that ye may dwell in the land of Goshen, for every shepherd is an abomination unto the Egyptians. Then Yosef came and told Pharaoh, and said, My father and my brethren, and their flocks, and their herds, and all that they have, are come out of the land of Canaan, and behold, they are in the land of Goshen. And he took some of his brethren, even five men, and presented them unto Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto his brethren, What is your occupation? And they said unto Pharaoh, Thy servants are shepherds, both we and also our fathers. And they said, Moreover unto Pharaoh, For to sojourn in the land are we come, for thy servants have no pasture for their flocks, for the famine is sore in the land of Canaan. Now therefore, we pray thee, let thy servants dwell in the land of Goshen. And Pharaoh spake unto Joseph, saying, Thy father and thy brethren are come unto thee, the land of Egypt is before thee. In the best of the land, make thy father and brethren to dwell. In the land of Goshen, let them dwell. And if thou knowest any men of activity among them, then make them rulers over my cattle. And Yosef brought in Yaakov his father and set him before Pharaoh. And Yaakov blessed Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto Yaakov, How old art thou? And Yaakov said unto Pharaoh, The days of the years of my pilgrimage are an hundred and thirty years. Few and evil have the days of the years of my life been, and have not attained unto the days of the years of the life of my fathers in the days of their pilgrimage. And Yaakov blessed Pharaoh and went out from before Pharaoh. 
And Yosef placed his father and his brethren and gave them a possession in the land of Egypt, in the best of the land, in the land of Ramses, as Pharaoh had commanded. And Yosef nourished his father and his brethren and all his father's household with bread according to their families. And there was no bread in all the land, for the famine was very sore, so that the land of Egypt and all the land of Canaan fainted by reason of the famine. And Yosef gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan for the corn which they bought. And Yosef brought the money into Pharaoh's house. And when money failed in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came unto Yosef and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in thy presence? For the money faileth. And Yosef said, Give your cattle, and I will give you for your cattle if money fail. And they brought their cattle unto Yosef, and Yosef gave them bread in exchange for horses, and for the flocks, and for the cattle of the herds, and for the asses, and he fed them with bread for all their cattle for that year. And when that year was ended, they came unto him the second year, and said unto him, We will not hide it from my Adon, how that our money is spent. My Adon also hath our herds of cattle. There is not aught left in the sight of my Adon, but our bodies and our lands. Wherefore shall we die before thine eyes, both we and our land? Buy us and our land for bread. And we and our land will be servants unto Pharaoh, and give us seed, that we may live and not die, that the land be not desolate. And Yosef bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh, for the Egyptians sold every man his field, because the famine prevailed over them. So the land became Pharaoh's. And as for the people, he removed them to cities from one end of the borders of Egypt unto the other end thereof. Only the land of the priests bought he not, for the priests had a portion assigned them of Pharaoh, and did eat their portion which Pharaoh gave them, wherefore they sold not their lands. Then Yosef said unto the people, Behold, I have bought you this day and your land for Pharaoh. Lo, here is seed for you, and ye shall sow the land, and it shall come to pass in the increase that ye shall give the fifth part unto Pharaoh, and four parts shall be your own for seed of the field, and for your food, and for them of your households, and for food for your little ones. And they said, Thou hast saved our lives. Let us find grace in the sight of my Adon, and we will be Pharaoh's servants. And Yosef made it a law over the land of Egypt unto this day, that Pharaoh should have the fifth part, except the land of the priests only, which became not Pharaoh's. And Yasharel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen. And they had possessions therein, and grew, and multiplied exceedingly. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 15. The word of Yahuwah came on... The word of Yahuwah came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, Take thee one stick, and write upon it for Yahudah, and for the children of Yasharel his companions. And then take another stick, and write upon it for Yosef, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Yasharel his companions. And join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith Yahuwah Elohim, Behold, I will take the stick of Yosef, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Yasharel his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Yehudah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. And the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes. And say unto them, Thus saith Yahuwah Elohim, Behold, I will take the children of Yasharel from among the heathen, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. 
and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Yasaro, and one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all, neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions, but I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them, so shall they be my people, and I will be their Elohim. And David my servant shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd, and they shall also walk in my judgments, and observe my statutes, and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they, and their children, and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them, and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forever. My tabernacle also shall be with them, yea, I will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, Yahuwah, do sanctify Yashara, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in times past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But Elohim, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Mashiach, by grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Mashiach Yahusha, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Mashiach Yahusha. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of Elohim, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Mashiach Yahusha, unto good works, which Elohim hath before ordained, that we should walk in them. Thank you so much for joining us. Shabbat Shalom.